What's up everyone, Chlorin King here. I'm here on Equipment Pad. We just installed a new Hayward TriStar 950 variable speed pump. The client wants to set up a jacuzzi button, so I'm gonna show you how to do that with the Hayward ProLogic automation system, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, we got the panel open now. Uh, everything is live in here. I'm comfortable with what I'm doing here. If you're not comfortable, please, please be safe. Hire professional, safety, safety, safety. I need to take the faceplate off so I can show you how we're gonna do this. So you see the two valve actuator plugs here, valve three and valve four. We're gonna program everything to valve three. If you look here on the panel, valve three is right here, and that's gonna be the button that's gonna create the one touch situation where it turns on the heater, puts it in spa mode, all that fun stuff. So what we're gonna do is go to the configuration menu. See how it says locked, how you unlock it. You just hold the left and right arrow, this is gonna unlock. There we go. And now we're gonna scroll all the way over to valve three. Go ahead and hit plus to get into it. We're gonna go ahead and name the spa party. There's a bunch of different names here, but he wants a spa experience, so that's what we're gonna give him. Hit the right arrow. Now the function here, we wanna do group, because what we're gonna be doing is turning on a bunch of things at once. Timer we're gonna leave alone, it's manual, so we can do it, turn it on whenever he wants. Pool and spa we're gonna leave unaffected. Actually, we are going to do spa only. Filter we want to definitely turn on. And we're gonna ramp it up a little bit to 29, 33 RPMs. Hit right arrow, we're gonna leave that unaffected, the lights. Aux one, aux two unaffected, heater one. We're definitely gonna turn that on. That is the gas heater. So we can do auto control. And then uh, heater one set. So this is where you change the temperature. We're gonna just turn this up to 104. So that way it will heat to 104. Uh, pool, we're going to leave unaffected. Heater 2 is the heat pump here. We'll leave that unaffected. Same with the pool. Super cooler in there. Uh, we're going to leave that alone as well. Leave that alone. And that's it. So now what we do, we go ahead and hit valve 3. See it shuts everything down. And it even says here, small party turned on. We walk over here. We see the actuators turning, off, turning over to small mode. Then from here, there's gonna be a slight delay. The pump's gonna turn on. After the valves are done changing. Pump's gonna turn on here in a second, automatically. Let's heard the relay kick. There goes the pump. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is fast forward through this for you guys, but basically wait till the heater turns on automatically. Oh, and also you wanna make sure that the heater uh, is in one of these two modes. I put it, went ahead and put it in spa. And you wanna make sure it's uh, in BO, so that way yeah, it's bypass for the automation system. So the fans just kicked on for the heater, and in a second here, the heater will fire up. There we go, got heater fired up. And that's it. So that is how you uh, create a, uh, a party mode or a group setting for a one button to valve three for ProLogic Automation. And then of course, if we want to turn it back to pool mode, just go ahead and turn off valve three. And of course, if you have an indoor controller, this will work just the same. You got a valve three on the indoor controller there. And that is it. So the valves are gonna turn back around into uh, pool mode. And that is how you do it. So stay tuned for more videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.